Hey, it's Dr. Charles, a.k.a. Coach MD. In my over 30 years of medical practice, I have made it my goal to help you create a great life by achieving a strong mind, a healthy body, and an unshakable spirit. What I want to talk to you today about are some of the breakthroughs that are coming, really coming with true, authentic, real, cutting-edge science. And this is about we're closer to curing blindness than most people realize. And, you know, you take it for granted, our eyesight, but vision, if you were to ask anyone... If there was one sense, one of our five senses that you would not want to live without, it would be our sight, our vision. And that's, that's mostly, I, I would say, I, I, would, I would say that because the beauty and the vibrance of what we can see with our eyes is, is amazing. Certainly people who are, who are blind since birth have a different, obviously, a, a different feel for that. But um, I know that people who have, are blessed and able to have, see know that they would not want to not be able to see. So let's take a look at this. Bionic eyes, stem cells, gene therapies, visual impairment, better watch its back. Research labs haven't quite figured out how to turn water into wine yet, but they've made significant progress on restoring sight to those who can't see. What most of us would only entertain as a pipe dream or at least deem far off in the future is already here. Scientists have identified a variety of legitimate methods of curing blindness. Yeah, it's happening, actually. Their progress arrives at a good time, too, as the National Institutes of Health predicted a few years ago that num the number of people with visual impairment or blindness in the United States is expected to double to more than 8 million by 2050. That number does not include the many millions more with correctable eyesight issues such as nearsightedness or farsightedness or as one gets older, right, presbyopia. That's, the, the, that's why I'm wearing these glasses here because our lens changes. It hardens as we get older and to see the fine print, the, the smaller print is very difficult. But, you know, that, that's, that's minuscule. I'm not complaining about that. If, if I couldn't see... Uh, anything that or, or very poorly or legally blind, that would be a real issue, right? So we're talking about age-related blindness or, or other sorts of blind people who are, uh, are injured or who have or born with it, but age-related blindness is mostly due to macular degeneration. A recent feature at Freethink discusses the three modes of treatment that currently hold the most promise, bionic eyes, stem cell transplants, and gene therapy. Now, how does it work? Well, bionic eyes are likely the clunkiest of the three solutions, as you might imagine. They involve an electrical interplay between a, a pair of glasses with a camera attached to them and an implant somewhere near the back of the eye. The implant receives information from the glasses, which it relays to the brain. An important note, this system doesn't produce images. It inter polates light, movement, surfaces, corners, etc., to give the visually impaired person the capability to move freely through the world. So it's, it's more safely, uh, it's, it's, more, it's a safety uh, uh, bionic eye, right, for our own safety so we can navigate the world. Uh, however imperfect that may sound, it's a radical improvement to their alternative, right? Uh, because otherwise they need to wear, uh, use a cane um, and it's dangerous. Or, uh, yeah, a cane with a, a, a dog, perhaps. Um, but, you know, this is this much, much more safe to do it that way if, if it can be done. There's some promising tech out there. Uh, Prigza, Prigzium Vision, Phoenix 99, these are companies that uh, are, are producing or are trying to produce these. But now that bionic eyes, while effective, require updates, maintenance, and in some cases, reboots. It's a little creepy, but if, if, if you're someone who needs that, it's worth it, I think. If a company folds, which happened with a once-promising lab called Second Sight, vulnerable customers are left with outdated gear in their skulls. It's less than ideal, to say the least. Stem cells, ever the ethical headache, made a more elegant cure for blindness. And it's really not ethical uh, because... What, what's being used now are, are what are called induced polypotential stem cells. So you take a, a cell that's from your skin, let's say. It's in a lab reprogrammed into a stem cell. And that stem cell is then differentiated into whatever other cell that you want. So, for instance, 
a cell that's um, a heart cell, or in this case, a retinal cell. So induced polypotential st- uh, uh, pluripotential t- stem cells are not embryonic stem cells, has nothing to do with abortions or anything of that sort. It's your own cells being reprogrammed. This area is linked to old age blindness or diabetic blindness, macular degeneration or retinopathy in diabetics. Scientists are able to make new RPE cells from stem cells, as these are the retinal pigment epithelium cells from the stem cells that I'm talking about, and plant them into the eye, which more or less gives the whole region a breath of fresh air. Studies have exhibited that these lab-grown RPE cells not only stop vision loss, they can even reverse it. I know the University of Wisconsin is really working on that. They have a whole division that looks at that. Uh, The only issue, we need a a lot more research before this sort of procedure is deployed for the masses. But I know of people who have had this and have been cured, actually. Plus, at the moment, it only appears to work on blindness caused by defective RPE cells. But that's a a huge uh, population of people. Last but not least, there's gene therapy, which involves correcting the gene pattern mutations that cause blindness in the first place. Uh, th- this can be congenital, wh- wh- what you're born with. One such mutation in the RPE65 gene, which leads to a condition called Lieber congenital amaurosis, can be met with a novel therapy called Luxterna. Okay, that's congenital, something you're born with. The FDA approved it in 2017, and a spokesperson said at the time, I believe gene therapy will become a mainstay in treating and maybe curing many of our most devastating and intractable illnesses. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. While Luxterna is designed to treat a particular and sort of rare hereditary mutation, the implications here are huge. Gene therapy could conceivably be used to treat any sort of progressive visual dysfunction from age-related macular degeneration to the very common retinitis pigmentosa. In fact, Freethink has another worldwide, worthwhile story from last year on how a combination of gene therapy and special goggles help partially restore a man's sight, which he had lost 40 years prior. You can only imagine, I can't imagine what that must have been like for him. Of course, gene therapy can't cure blindness if it wasn't inherited. If you lost sight in the eye due to a horrible accident, You'll have to seek a different solution. Well, maybe the bionic solution. But that's the beauty of modernity. What kind of word? Modernities. Modernities. Multi-pronged approach to solving scientific dilemmas. There is rarely one cure which makes sense. After all, there's rarely one cause of any of an, an affliction. While all of these therapies are expensive, ex- experimental, and nowhere near perfect, the future is looking clearer than ever. And I have to say that I have known people, I know people who have had some of these procedures, mainly the stem cell uh, procedure, and it does work. And this is coming really fast, and it's very exciting, and it's, it's good stuff, I have to say. So let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Dr. Charles, a.k.a. Coach MD, urging you to stay strong in mind, in body, and in soul. Bye for now. Dr. Charles, Coach MD, thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you think you have a friend who might benefit from this video, share it with them. For access to exclusive content, support my Patreon. There you'll get private access to videos, meditations, health tips, even relationship and financial tips. You'll have a say in what I produce and be able to participate in a monthly call with me. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you soon.